today is Tuesday, July 23rd. We have a group of paddle boarders and kayakers. We're launching from we're launching from the Sheep Crossing Recreation Site. Uh, wasn't sure how the people would do going around the Devil's Elbow, so we decided to bypass that. The flow at 6 o'clock this morning was 1,250 cubic feet per second. And I believe we have a group of nine people. Since I'm not coordinating this today, I haven't yet learned everyone's name, but this is Dell right here, who's joined me before. That's a pretty good ride today. Yeah, <laughs> uh, in years past, we actually had more people flip there than at uh, Bulldog or Pinball, as they call it now. This is also a good place if you look back and take a photo, uh, oh, got yeah. the nice mountains in the background. So you can see how the bank has been eroding, you know, since that big flow back in 91. And all these rocks here were brought in to try to stabilize the bank. But at night, it looks like these trees are just going to get up and start walking away. And then you got a lot of squirrels like to play here. This is uh, Coon Bluff. And I would kind of wait for some of the others to catch up. This is where we want to be a little cautious. Okay, so George is just down there. That's George coming up. So just stay to your right. Okay. 
This is where you want to start staying to the right. Um, stay a little closer to the right shoreline. Somebody has cut a few branches off of George. So a surprising number of people run into that tree in the daytime. I can understand running into it in the night, but um, they're just not paying attention. And then I've told people to stay to the right, and then we hit this overhanging brush there. So, yeah, we had we're doing a night float last year, and one lady lost her hat, and another guy got a contact lens knocked out. He hit that brush. Yeah, well, a lot of people like to repel here. Of course, you're going right down into the water. And then you got these ropes hanging. Sometimes like to pull on pull on the rope, see if you could lift yourself out of the water. Yeah, right where these people are, Jeff, that's our takeout. I want to do it again. Yeah, yeah, that went fast. Well, plus, we didn't stop to take a break. We usually take a break there. Yeah, right where this raft is, that's our takeout. GoPro, stop recording. So this is the devil's elbow. Just the band here it tends to push against the current. So I ride the current close to the reeds and then I point away from them. So just follow what I'm doing. All right, they did just fine. You survived, all right. Well, that's that's the full adventure right there. They call that the jungle cruise. That wasn't too bad. 
Yeah. No, that's what I usually like to do. Get right up to the reeds. Yeah. Did good. Uh, that where that's where we either that or just a little further up. Some nice waves today. Hello, way back. Yeah. Yeah. Kind of, yeah. Kind of refreshing. Oh, yeah. I had a fish jump right in front of me. Oh, wow. And this is such a great backdrop for photos. I'll try to get a photo of you if you don't get too far out of the way. So when we came through here before, um, yeah, so that's a, an island right there. We went to the left. This time we're going to go to the right, and they call that the chute. Some call it the chute of shame. I don't know where, where it got that name from.
Uh, it'll come in there. Can't quite see it from here. I think they increased the flow. Fast too? Yeah. <laughs> yeah. GoPro, stop recording. <laughs> 